What's going on, everyone? So, in an absolute shocking twist, the Los Angeles Lakers draft Ronnie James. Uh, I don't think anybody saw this coming. I was completely surprised, as you could tell by the look on my face. But, no, in all seriousness, look, I'm fine with this pick, right? Quick little sidebar before I dive into Ronnie James and this pick. This ESPN broadcast was terrible. Like, for the second round, like, I get there's already, like, this lackluster this to the second round but you're gonna split it into two days at least like put effort into it right it kind of just felt like they were like like what's the point of separating it into a second day if you're just gonna kind of be all you know bland about it i guess for lack of a better word but anyway that was just a quick little sidebar moving on to brawny now Again, obviously, we all knew Bronny James was going to get drafted uh, by the Lakers. Uh, Bob Myers, during the broadcast, even said that Rich Paul was telling teams, do not draft Bronny. If you draft Bronny, then he's going to go to Australia, is what he said. Uh, so, basically, he was forcing his way to Lakers. Talked about it the entire process, right? There were murmurs of, like, the Suns, or maybe this, or maybe that. But at the end of the day, I was like, look, Rich Paul is doing everything he can to keep other teams from drafting Bronny. You know, could a team have thrown a, a monkey wrench in it and kind of called their bluff? Sure. I think if somebody would have taken him in the first round, right? Like if Phoenix would have taken him in the first round, I think that maybe he would have went just to be able to say he was a first round pick. But as soon as he ended up not being a first round pick, you knew he was going to Lakers. They were going to force his way to the Lakers. Um, and their trump card was like, hey, we're gonna go. We're gonna go play elsewhere. We we'll just won't play in the NBA until our obligations are met, right? So I, you knew that this was coming. Again, with the the late second round pick, I'm fine with it. You know, like I don't mind the Lakers taking him uh, when they did at 55, right? Because who else are you getting that's going to be that much better? Anybody that late is probably there when guys end up, you know, being. Uh, undrafted, and any guy you take is going to be a project upside guy anyway. You already got your your game now guy. You already got your plug and play guy now and connect. Perfect, right? Get the guy in Bronny that you can draft and develop and grow. Right now, LeBron. This basically ensures LeBron staying with the Lakers. LeBron's not leaving the Lakers. I don't think LeBron was leaving the Lakers regardless, but. Now, you got J.J. Redick as the head coach, and you got Bronny James on the roster. LeBron isn't leaving the Lakers. LeBron is staying with the Lakers. Now, it's just, how will they work it out? I know a lot of people want LeBron to take a pay cut. It doesn't really matter. Right? The only thing that Bron could maybe do is if... Uh, you know, the Lakers want to free up their full mid-level exception. Like, let's say the Lakers have somebody locked up that makes sense, right? Maybe LeBron takes a small haircut so that way they can free up the, the mid-level, the full mid-level rather than the taxpayer. Outside of that, I mean, LeBron could play for $20 million and we wouldn't have any cap space. If LeBron played for the vet minimum, literally came in and played for the vet minimum, Lakers would only have like $8 million in cap space. Right, so I see a lot of people that throw out the idea of like, oh, LeBron needs to take, uh, you know, a discount. Like, wh how, why, why? It doesn't, if it changed things, if he took like 15 million a year, 20 million a year, and all of a sudden we had a max spot, then sure, yeah, of course. Like, come on, Bron, like, let's try to go win a championship here. But it doesn't impact anything. Whether he gets the full max or partial max or whatever, it's the same result. But the reason I like LeBron or Bronny on this roster is because of LeBron, right? I don't know, because it is something you don't know, and I don't personally think Bronny would develop the way he will on the Lakers because of LeBron James, right? Nobody is going to put more time, effort, energy, money, and resources into Bronny than his own dad, right? And the fact that they get to be on the same team together... LeBron now can be like Bronny can just basically glue himself to his dad for the next like two, three years, or however long LeBron sticks around for. And LeBron can just make him the best player possible. I'm not saying LeBron or that Bronny's gonna be a superstar. I'm not saying Bronny's gonna end up being, but even not everybody has to be, right? Like so many people want every draft pick to be Jokic. It doesn't work like that. I'm fine. 
if Bronny is just develops into a rotation guy, right? Like if he could be an Avery Bradley type player where he's just a three and D guard that's coming off the bench. If he could be our Gabe Vincent replacement in, you know, a year or two, that's perfect, right? Point of attack, defensive guy. He already has the NBA level defense. He has the IQ. He has his dad's athleticism. He's got some good playmaking ability, right? He did excellent in the draft combine. Like that was like what everyone was tooting. Like, man, he was very impressive in the draft combine that so much so that there were murmurs of like, he may end up getting draft in the first round. But to me, it's just like, again, if he can just be a quality rotation piece, you know, in the, in the top eight, that's huge at this late of this late second round, nearly undrafted range, right? I would love for him to be, you know, uh, uh, Anthony Edwards 2.0, right? Like that would be great. I mean, he doesn't have the size, but you get my point. Like the athleticism, being able to defend, get buckets, you know, him making play. Like if he could become, you know, this incredible two-way point guard, like that's the dream. But even if he becomes like, say, a Derek White, where he's not a superstar, he's not, you know he's kind of like a fringe borderline all star. That's a that's a that's a grand slam, right? Wouldn't you love to have Derek White on your roster? Of course, every team would, right? So again, he doesn't have to necessarily be LeBron James, right? Can he just develop into a quality rotation or maybe even starting level point guard where he's your fifth best player, right? He doesn't have to be your first second best player. What if he next to Max Christie are like you know one of the best backcourt defensive duos in the league, right? Like that, like something like that in the future is fine, right? And to me, I think LeBron James is going to work his tail off to try to get his son to be something. Cause I don't, one, I don't think LeBron wants his son to be a bust, right? Two, you know, I don't think that, I, I think LeBron wants to be that proud, like, oh man, look at what my kids do. I don't think LeBron expects Bronny to be him or surpass him or be better than him. I don't even think Bronny expects that. I think everyone kind of has real expectations here, but it's just like, I think LeBron is going to do everything he can to make Bronny the best player possible. And you're not going to get that attention anywhere else, right? You're st he's still going to go and work with trainers and all that, right? And he would do that with any other team. He's still going to go through the same sort of regimes that he would anywhere else. But who's going to be more incentivized to make Bronny the best player possible than LeBron James? is my thought process, right? And so that I think is very exciting in and of itself. Um, you know, I've also, another thing that I've seen a lot of people throw out is like, would, would the Lakers be interested in Bronny? And, you know, would the Lakers even consider drafting Bronny if LeBron wasn't, you know, on the Lakers? But even then, like you would have to essentially pretend LeBron never existed. Because, as, because even if LeBron wasn't on the Lakers, just the allure of LeBron, oh, you may get LeBron having Bronny is incentive enough. Not just that, the money and value you would get. Like, that's one of the reasons why I thought another team might take a flyer on him. Because it's like, man, like, you'll probably make a hundred million off of just drafting Bronny. As long as he's, like, half decent, right? Because all the publicity, all the noise, all the media, everyone's going to be trying. In Summer League, he's going to be, you know, one of the main attractions. Like, there's just a lot that goes into it beyond that. So, and also to me, it just depends on what, how good were his drafts. Again, at the 55th pick, there's not very many people left, right? And even if he goes undrafted, the Lakers might have taken him undrafted anyway. Lakers like to take those kind of flyer guys, take those legacy guys regardless. So even if LeBron wasn't on the Lakers, the Lakers may still have had some level of interest in him, right? The only way you'd know for certain if he'd be drafted is if LeBron never existed and he was just a straightforward prospect. But again, some of these teams seemed very interested in him. And then Rich Paul started getting make, getting on the phone, right? Bronny probably would have gotten drafted elsewhere based on the buzz, based on the conversation, right? But Rich Paul did his job as an agent to force his way to getting Bronny to the Lakers. And so I just, I, it's one of those things like you can't, you can't really answer correctly because you don't know, right? But what I do know is that Bronny is on this team. I'm rooting for him. I'm supporting him. Let's go. Again, if he could just be a quality two-way guard in this league, well, I mean, what more can you ask for with the 55th pick? If this was the 17th pick, probably have a problem. If this was a top five pick, we'd probably have a problem. But, 
him being essentially as close to being undrafted as possible, right? Like, I'm okay with it, personally. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Best question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Uh, do you think that Bronny getting drafted by Lakers? Think that this basically ensures LeBron James isn't going anywhere? Do you think, like, yeah, this LeBron's locked in to be a Laker? Um, do you think that Bronny can strive and be a quality piece? Do you think he has star potential? Do you think he kind of like, you know, maybe Derek White? Do you think maybe he's like an Avery Bradley type? Like I said, just like a key rotation piece type of guy. Um, you know, even like a George Hill, something like that, right? Like that's what I'm kind of looking at Bronny to be. Not necessarily this this super elite player, but just can he be a, a athletic, push the pace, 3 and D style guard? that can get out in transition, that can run the floor, that can play on ball, play off ball, and defend opposing guards. If you can do that, to me, that's a home run. But anyway, as always, again, let me know down in the comments. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. So we enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.